My name is Patrick Henry. I was born in Virginia on May 29, 1736. As a, a politician and an orator, I helped convince colonists to fight against the British during the American Revolution. Growing up, I failed being both a farmer and a store clerk twice each. I was later elected to a Virginia House of Burrises and lay opposition to a stamp act that same year. In 1775, I said the phrase that changed everything. Give me liberty or give me death. This phrase represented my ongoing movement for independence from Britain. I survived the war but refused to work in the White House due to my opposition to ongoing beliefs. I believed the president could easily become king and rule of the United States too. As a leader and an anti-federalist, I adopted the word for Bill of Rights. I was eventually re-elected into a Virginia House of Burrises. However, my falling of health forced me to refuse to work there again. I died of stomach cancer or 1799 at the age of 63 and is buried at Red Hill Shrine, Virginia. Hi, my name is Leslie Kiss Pickney. I was born December 28, 1722 in Antigua, South Carolina. I had four kids and I was married when I was 22 years old. My favorite subject was botany, so when I was 21 years old, I realized that the growing textile industry was creating more markets for new dyes. And if, a, and if a Buddha can be obtained. My best friend was George Washington. When I was getting really old, George Washington gave me a visit to me two years later in 1739. He did a pub in my funeral. Later on, then, my, my, my son Thomas did a governor to South Carolina State and to Great Britain. I died on May 19, 1793 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. My cause of death was of old age, and I was only seven years old when I died. My name is Ben Franklin. I was born January 17, 1706. I was the youngest of 17 brothers and sisters. I lived in Boston, Massachusetts for most of my childhood. My family only had enough money for me to attend two years of school. When I turned 10, I could not attend school anymore since my family had run out of money. When I turned 12, I became an apprentice to my older brother's printing press. At age 15, I founded the New England Current, which is the most independent newspaper in all the colonies. At age 17, I ran away to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. There I republic. There I proposed to 15-year-old Deborah Reed, but sadly was declined. After that, I went to London to assist your William Keith. Upon the death of one of my partners in London, I returned to Pennsylvania. There I published the Pennsylvania Gazette. On May 10, 1752, I flew a kite with a metal rod in it in the middle of a storm. Thus, I invented the lightning rod. I invented much more after that. The glass harmonica, the Franklin stove, bifocal glasses, and then the light bulb. After my inventing, I went to Washington, D.C. to sign the Declaration of Independence. I died April 17, 1790. I lived to be 84 years old. My actual grave son reads Benjamin and Deborah Franklin, who ended up being married.